So but, on the toxic masculinity thing that we were just talking about, mm-hmm. I just this is uh, I don't know if you've ever heard of the Apogee program. It's uh, Tim Kennedy started a school from uh, Matt Bardu. He's he's a action. He, I think he started Action Placer. Right? Action Academy. Action yeah. Academy. So it's an action. A go, the a go, the Apogee Academy is like an action placer academy. Anyways, they posted this. Um, 43% of boys, they're like, question toxic masculinity. 43, 43% of boys are raised by single mothers. 78%, this is, this is like my life. Uh, 78% of teachers are female. So close to 50% of boys have 100% feminine influence at home and 80% feminine influence in school. Toxic masculinity isn't isn't the problem. It's the lack of masculinity. 100%, man. And that's like, that just like freaking like punched me right in the face. Because I was like, that's exactly the problem. Like The problem all, is all, us men. Yeah, it's us. We're the problem. We're the men are the problem. Like, let's like, keep it why, real. Why are we allowing, we're continuing to allow... Um, I mean, I would beat my my own ass as a young man, and and or like your son if he acts like you, <laughs> if he acts like absolutely, you were absolutely absolutely because I want to I want to teach him what a real what it's what the purpose of being a man is, mm-hmm. and like your roles and responsibilities to not just you and your family but everyone around you, mm-hmm. like the world needs strong men, mm-hmm. and then all that all that BS was going to go. I mean, I was raised by. I mean, listen. My grandmothers were amazing. My aunts were amazing. My I have cousins that were like aunt age. Amazing. They loved me. Mm-hmm. But I was raised by a bunch of women. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and now gran- granted, my grandfather before he passed was very masculine. Very like, um, what's that? Stoic. Mm-hmm. Old school. Old, but he was, but he was old school, and he was a Vietnam vet, and didn't talk about feelings, and didn't, you know, what yeah. I mean? like. Well, that's know. that's the generation that we're learning from, right? Right, and I don't know, like, of course, I mean, again, I'm still kind of new, so I haven't like dug super deep into all this. But there's almost there's something happening right now, where there's a redefining of what a man actually is. Yeah, um, I think it's because there's such a polar, I mean, and this, and don't get it twisted, this has been a. There's a great video. I don't even know who it is. It was, it was a it was a, a gentleman on a podcast talking about uh, specifically black fathers in the home and having jobs and and how it went from you know early 1900s to you know after segregation to Martin Luther King and then what happened in the 70s mm-hmm. with uh, basically taking away trade schools. Um, what what do you call it, babe? T destabilizing the black family yeah basically trying uh, purposely trying to destabilize and then you know bringing in you know crack and then just creating a, yeah. a, a the break, government the breakdown of family the breakdown of family right, right? because and they knew that the black family unit was this was the strongest thing yeah. in the black community so if they made it go away and, they and could control right, better right, right right and you see that right you see that in 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 families in general before the 70s Good, bad, or indifferent. There was a man in the home. Mm-hmm. He went to work. He came home. He, you know, he, like you hear stories of like them spanking their kids and things yeah. like that. But there was a stability there. And after that, you saw this breakdown of the family unit. Mm. And I liked it. You know, you don't have to be a you don't have to be a Trump supporter to like the statement. But um, <laughs> everything woke turns to shit. And it's mm. like this whole mentality of like toxic masculinity and like. We need, you know, more femininity, and I'm like, no, that's we have that. Yeah. Look, how is it going? Yeah. It's going like shit, you know. Well, I think you know one of the 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 shift that I'm starting to see now that I'm like really in this space yeah. and like seeing and kind of getting in touch with people that are doing similar work is it's the it's the restoration of a man being able to be emotionally intelligent and right saying like it is okay to be sad. It's okay to cry. Dude, it's okay to cry, man. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, it has to be okay. Um, and redefining what that means to be a man, it's going to create new leaders. I don't know if you know the guy Jason Wilson. You know Jason Wilson? Mm. Look into him. Um, he uh, he just said this. I was listening to a podcast of his, and he does this work, but with kids, and also using martial arts, which is 
Awesome. Super, yeah, it's yeah. super awesome. Um, and he said that once the man, like, gets restored, the world will, will be better. I literally said the same thing. I, well, well it, I said, what I said was, if men were true men, if we were, as men, if we were united as a, like, we, like, men were really back in the day with mm -hmm. clubs and units. And, I mean, just look at the Million Man March. Like, how, before social media, how did you get that many men <laughs> in one location? Fucking phone calls. Yeah, that is pretty crazy. And conversations, right? Conversation, like, hey, we're yeah. going to do this thing as men. <laughs> that is wild, like, right? When you think about it, like, how like, do you do that? We can't, I couldn't pull that off right now. With <laughs> uh, And I've got 240-something thousand followers on, you know, I've got, I got across the board, I've probably got close to a million people following me. Right, right, right. I couldn't pull that off. Yeah. You hey, know guys, what I mean? come on. <laughs> yeah, they did it by phone calls and like. Flyers. I don't know, yeah. I don't even know how. Yeah. But the fact is that if, if we had that now, mm -hmm our society be very different and and overall the if you want to call it the government whatever the powers that be would not be able to pull some of the things that they're pulling because men would go no this is not what's in best interest of us as a community mm -hmm. us as our families yeah you know i think too and i'm for i'm for equality and all of these things the feminine movement um it's like a pendulum right like the yeah. pendulum has swung so far now it's like created a suppression of men yeah which is unhealthy and, well, I'm, and i'm not against the feminine movement like empower every i'm i want everyone to be empowered sure but a man needs to be a man too yeah. and well here's what's crazy is um our coach actually ali kilbert just mentioned and i i did never connect the dots and i actually work with uh i work with a hormone clinic um core medical group it's one of our sponsors as well um who does t trt for men and women mm -hmm. um and I got a call from the CEO and he said, Hey man, the FDA is going to start regulating HCG, hmm. HCG, uh, and, and two other drugs. Clomid. Yeah. Two other, two other drugs. Fertility sort of. Which treatment. are specifically for male fertility hmm. and making, making sure that men stay mm -hmm. on a hormonal level. Healthy. They were getting rid of that. They're, they're not getting rid of it. They're making it, the FDA is, I guess, like they're securing it. They made it a controlled substance that you can't just, like, a clinic can't just sell. Like, mm. you have to be. It's like harder to get. It's no. harder to get, and like no. insurance has to approve it. And so there's a runaround, right? All yeah. of a sudden, why these specific drugs? They're, they're, they're. There's nothing mm. special about them other than their intended use is male fertility, right? And keeping men fertile on a hormonal level, male. Mm. Hmm. <laughs> I feel like we could open up a huge can of worms going down that. <laughs> you see road, what I'm man? saying? But like, I, I didn't. I, I didn't do. even. I'm like, so here we have this whole systemic idea of masculinity is bad, men are bad, fathers are bad, and then on on the FDA side, they're legitimately attacking, regulating, mm, re and regulating male fertility drugs. Yeah. That's like, a, how do you not connect the dots on that? Yeah. It's like a weird power right. thing. <laughs> Conspiracy theory. So. Um, it's like intermission? What is yeah. this? <laughs> so, I, like, I just don't understand why. I mean, other than just control and just, but, like, all it does is hurt us. Well, I think... I mean, I don't know the why, but if I was going to guess, it's because if there was a, a generation of restored men, all of a sudden men are powerful again. Uh -huh.